Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm Lucy Ionello. I'm a student here at Thomas Jefferson Middle School, and I take video production classes with Mr. Graves. Every high school and most middle schools have video production programs where students learn how to shoot and edit video, write scripts, build graphics, and do live shows. While they do all that, they're also building teamwork skills like communication, problem solving, and more. These programs are part of the district's career and technical education department. Our first film comes from a student here at Jefferson. It's a silent film called The Bear, and it was accepted into the International Youth Silent Film Festival, held at the historic Hollywood Theater in Portland. Let's take a look. I'm joined now by Patrick Mox, the student who made the film. Patrick, thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem. Let's talk about the film. How did you get involved with the Silent Film Festival? Um, well, we were just messing around in video tech, making you know, a normal project, and my video teacher actually introduced me to the festival, and that's when I wanted to get involved. Where did you get the idea for the story? Um, I kind of waste my life watching a lot of Netflix and stuff, and so I watched uh, a couple like thriller movies, and. TV shows, and I thought that'd be a really good idea to, you know, make something like that. How challenging was it to make a movie without any dialogue? Well, dialogue's kind of like my least favorite part about making films, and so doing this was uh, actually pretty fun because I was able to tell the story without using words and rely more on pictures. How much planning went into this film? How much was written versus improvised? Well, there's a lot of planning, but by the time we actually started filming, I decided that some of it didn't fit in. Like, for example, um, there was a scene where the protagonist was cornered in the hallway, and instead of actually like beating him up, we had to change it so that way it just um, I had to, I had to make it flow better, and so I just had it cut to the next scene. Let's talk about the film festival. How cool was it to see your work up on the big screen in front of a large audience? 
Uh, it was pretty nice because that's kind of the main um, goal of a filmmaker to be able to have an audience for your work. And, you know, um, being able to have people see what I did was pretty nice. Was this your first experience like this? Uh, yeah. What do you like about taking video production classes? I'm able to work with people who, you know, have the same aspirations and I can work with better equipment than I would at home. Was this your first experience like this? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, what was the setting like? What did you enjoy about it? Um, it was pretty nice. It was at the uh, Hollywood Theater in Portland, which is a historical theater. And so it was kind of cool to be able to see my movie where, you know, other big budget movies were played. Is video production something you'd possibly want to go into for a career? I, I think so. It seems pretty fun. You know, directing is really nice because I'm able to tell a story with, you know, pictures. And rather than writing it out, I can show people, you know, what it's like in these worlds that I make. Um, let's talk about the bear in your movie. Oh, well, that's kind of a funny story. We were looking through the props, and originally we are going to use, like, a like a doll or, you know, something else, but we found the bear in the prop closet, and we thought it looked really funny to use, so we just grabbed that, and, yeah. yeah. Um, the theme of your movie was bullying. Why is that topic important to you, or why does that relate? Um, well, you know, middle school bullying is a pretty big thing, and I thought that, you know, being able to relate the movie to a problem that a lot of middle schoolers do have, it would, um, you know, make the movie connect with the viewer. Thanks, Patrick. Our next two films were also competitors in the Silent Film Festival. The first comes from Vancouver School of Arts and Academics, and the second one comes from Skyview High School. Let's take a look.
Nice job, guys. Our final films are also silent. Check them out. This is better than the romance we already had. Girl, it's so boy, tight. girl.
That's it for us. You can catch past episodes of the show on our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash vansdtv. Look for the Young Filmmakers playlist. Thanks for watching today. Until next time, I'm Lucy Ionello.